Welcome back to my channel everyone, Tiff Benson here and in today's video we are going to be doing an unboxing of the new NARS scent that everyone is talking about. I'll unbox it here for you on the channel and I'll let you know my first impressions and initial thoughts so if you'd like to hear what they are make sure you keep watching. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I appreciate you being here with me while I open this new fragrance from NARS. I'm super excited to smell it. Leave a comment and let me know what your scent of day is. You know, I'm so curious. I love to read the comments and see what you're wearing. Shout out to my girl Phoebe on Instagram. I'll leave her handle here so we could go spam her and say thank you. She actually inspired me to create this video. She messaged, she messaged me on Instagram and said, Hey girl, hey, have you tried the new Nara scent that everyone is talking about? And I'm like, what? What Nara scent? Let me know. So I messaged my friends over at NARS and they sent me this lovely package so that I could share this new fragrance with you. If you're not doing so already, definitely follow your girl on Instagram. It is the easiest way to reach out to me. I try to answer all my messages there. Although I do get a lot of inbounds, I love to see what's on your fragrance radar there. I always ask questions like, what's your scent of the day? And I share my scent of the day. It's just the easiest, most immediate way for me to create content. So definitely follow me on Instagram, slide in my DMs, say hello, tell me you love me, and I'll tell you I love you back. All right, so let's get into the unboxing. I'm just gonna open it up with my handy dandy knife, you know. That's how I roll. I'm hoping that this smells like their body oil. Something just tells me it's gonna have those tropical vibes. I mean, it just would make sense since they've already kind of started getting into the fragrance category with the body oils. But we'll see, you never know. Here is the actual packaging. What else would we expect from NARS? Just a fabulous, gorgeous packaging, minimalist, minimalist and beautiful. Love the black design and detail. It's just very, very chic and lovely. I mean, you would not expect anything less from NARS. NARS at the top and Audacious written across the name of the box, which the name of the fragrance is called Audacious. Okay, let's see. And here it is. So, Bottle presentation is really beautiful. It's very modern. It's minimalist. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bottle. If you are obsessed with black bottles like me, please let me know. I am just like, oh, I love a black bottle design. I think they're so gorgeous and oh my God. That's going to be stunning sitting on a, a vanity. Packaging is really fancy looking. I love the design of this. The cap is gorgeous. It also has that like reflective quality to it. Let's see if it's weighted. It's not, oh, it is. It, it's slightly weighted, which I love that in a cap. I need my caps to be weighted. To me, it just feels like a luxury product when it is designed that way. And the bottle fits nicely in the hand. Nice for like, you know, your grab and go moments. I'm gonna spray it on because I definitely have talked enough about the packaging and the design. So let's go ahead and try it on the skin and see what we think. Sprayer is fantastic. Love the sprayer on this. I'm grabbing my handy dandy laptop so I can read to you what it says about this product online. Let's get into the notes. It says here that the top notes are white frangipani and smoke of incense. Middle notes here are TR flower, ylang ylang essential oil, and sandalwood. Base notes here are white cedar wood essential oil and white musk. This is an EDT concentration at a toilet. It's a 50 ml, 1.7 ounce. And this fragrance will set you back 
$180. So it says here, the essence of audacity, provocative, evocative, the new daring sensation. Discover the embodiment of audacity by Francois Nars' signature scent. Designed as an abstract study of contrast, top notes of white frangipani and smoke of incense, harmonize with tiara flower and sandalwood to arouse an aura that is uniquely minimal, modern, and unexpected. Light meets dark, sensuality meets individuality, and O oh to expression. I like that. O oh to expression. That's kind of clever. What does this smell like? I love the fact that it has frangipani in it. It gives that it gives the fragrance a very tropical vibe, but it doesn't quite smell. See, this is one that you're gonna have to wait and see what it develops into. So far, I like it. I'm not mad at it at all. It's definitely a fragrance that I would wear so far. Um, when I first sprayed it, it smelled quite smoky. I'm just gonna do another spritz here because the opening the opening smells very um incense heavy and and very floral almost as if it was like <laughs> a hairspray like a woman's hairspray which is not a bad thing because i live for scents like that that remind me of like beauty products but on this hand it's been developing a little bit more and the white flowers are definitely starting to come alive they're starting to blossom on the skin I'm also getting bits of a very clean sandalwood or white cedar wood e smell. It smells very, it smells woody but clean, like the cleaner side of wood, if that makes sense. I'm actually shocked that NARS would create a fragrance with so many layers in it, which again, that is a good thing. It's not a fragrance that is linear by any means, which is what you kind of would expect from like a makeup brand, something that's easy to respond to, something that's not too deep, something very surface level. But this is the exact opposite. I like how in the write-up it says it's a juxtaposition of dark meets light because it definitely feels like that. There's something very dark about it, but it also has this cleanness about it that is um, quite nice. Definitely reminds me of sun on the skin. It makes me feel like I should be wearing it when I'm like living my best life in Saint-Tropez, oh, south of France. I personally love fragrances with incense in them. This is a really nice, smoky, clean incense. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on in this fragrance. Um, I'm gonna have to wear this more, wear this longer, and come back and let you know my thoughts. Uh, clearly, it will be my scent of the day because that is the only way I'm really going to experience it and get the, I'm, you see, I'm just dousing myself. I'm dousing myself because I feel like it's one of those fragrances that um, I can do that with. Hopefully it doesn't develop into something huge and then I'm like scaring people off with my fragrance. But so far I think that this is going to wear rather lightly. Strong enough to make an impact if someone comes close, but I think this will be something that wears close to the skin. So I'm back. It's been about 15 to 20 minutes later and I've kind of got a better grasp on what this fragrance is doing and where I am with the fragrance. If I had to describe this fragrance, I would say it is a sandalwood scent mixed with frangipani, right? So first, in the top notes, I'm getting the frangipani in the opening, but now it's starting to develop into more white flowers, more tropical flowers, and sandalwood. To me, it smells like a smoky, sweet sandalwood scent, and I guess the, the those white flowers of frangipani are sweetening the fragrance up. It's very, very nice. Well done, might I add. I am not a fan of sandalwood at all, but I am obsessed with frangipani. If you like frangipani scents like frangipani by Orman Jane, or if you like Chantecaille's frangipani, you will like this scent. I would say even if you're a fan of Les Labos, um, 
sandal santal 33 you will like this scent maybe if you're looking for a little bit of a more smoky but still clean sandalwood scent i think you'll like this scent a lot so overall well done i'm gonna wear it again as my scent of the day i'll be stepping out with it into into the cool air so i'm excited to see how this performs how well it lasts and just be in all things nars today including my makeup <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this video please if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here i am tiff i love to do fragrance videos turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every time that i post here on youtube i love you forever thank you so much for watching and tuning into this video thank you phoebe for recommending it and thank you to nars for supplying fragrance with me so that i could share it with you love you forever watch what's up next and i'll catch you in the next one bye